Yeah, the title in America is different from this one here. All right, well, here's, here's the thing about titles as well. My title for the book was Pink Boxes, because we had to wear, that was our underwear, and Green Baloney, because that was the meat, the rancid meat we got about breakfast. That was me, you know, trying to be literary, a bit surreal, and that was in my voice. Once, you, once it goes to the publisher, that's all out the window. Unless you're Geoffrey Archer, and you can say, this is my title, and I want it to be a title. If you're an unknown prison author, and you, you know, you've, you've got no choice over anything in the world that the publisher's got out the window. So what happened was, the title became, first off, the main title became Hard Time. It was under discussion. Um, what I did was, I tried to influence it, and I ended up managing to get Hard Time in there because I put it to my blog readers. I said, look, this is what's going on. My title's gone. I've got no choice over it. It's, it's going to be picked by the publisher, can you guys suggest ideas for the publisher to consider? That was my new angle. And um, one of the readers said, Hard Time. Now, Hard Time, it's not a plagiarism of Dickens. It's actually a, an expression in the jail that prisoners use, especially the old cons. The, the quote in the book is, by my cellmate, he says, I've been in jails and prisons all over America. Sheriff Joe Apio's jail is hard time. It's like doing three days in one. It's like the hardest time you can get. So I was happy with that because it's a, you know, it's, it's slang that the prisoners use. Now the subtitle is um, Britain America's Toughest Jail for the English edition. And for the US edition, it's um, My Life Inside with Sheriff Joe Apio. You know, because they want people to get in on the Apio theme. But I have, no, I have no choices whatsoever over the subtitles. But I was happy with Hard Time. Yeah. Are you allowed back in America? I'm banned for life from America by the Department of Homeland Security. I was thinking of that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you, you had your hand up first, didn't you, before? Um, would you consider doing a DVD or something for children's homes and yacht teams? Okay, presently, I have a DVD that I'm donating to schools all across the country. Because I can only reach so many students, mm. and I'm sending this DVD out right now, left and right. I've donated about um, over 100 copies already. Mm -hmm. So would it's just. You, would you consider extending that to children? Oh, it's Cause an awful lot of kids. What's the age group? Well, it can be from five to 18, and that's just, and then they get chucked out. But an awful lot of them, because they're institutionalised, yeah. they look to prison. They say, well, yeah. that's a warm room. Mm -hmm. Don't have to worry about food. Don't have to worry about a job, and you've got somebody looking after you. I'll extend. I'll donate it to so whoever will we'll take it. I'm just trying to get it out to as many people as possible. Because they don't, yeah. they don't get it. I just need contact people to send the DVDs to. That's my yeah. problem right now. I get the book signings. Teachers will come in. Mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll have them write the school down. I'll give them a mm -hmm. DVD. Well, um, if you've got an email address, I can email you details for some of the places in Warrington. Because that, okay. that's what I did. But um, I've got some DVDs in the car if you want me to give you some DVDs. Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> that'd be great. Okay. Good, you hand up next. Okay, it's a slightly facetious question. Who would you like to play you in the movie? <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> right. This, this does get raised a lot. And in the, in the beginning, I said, I'm not going to assume this and jinx it and, or sound egotistical or anything like that. But who would you like to play you in the movie? Now the disclaimers are out of the way. Whenever, whenever I do talks, whenever I do talks, mm -hmm. people come up and say, the ideal person to play you in this movie is Wentworth Miller from Prison Break. Now, I've never seen Prison Break, so so many people started coming up to me saying this. I got, I got the DVDs and started watching it, and I could see exactly where they're coming from because he's got like the nerdy, you know, uh, book smartish side down, but he's also street smart as well. And um, yeah, you know, that would be great if he did, if he did play me because the women would come out in droves, you know. He's <laughs> way better looking than me. 